Just taking it one day at a time Still don't know what I'm trying to find Really I don't mind Cause I'll be fine Yeah I'll be fine Yeah No longer focused on yesterday And I don't care The rest will say Whatever they want What's left to say What's left to say Cause I'm leaving All the pain today Meaning What I'm trying to say Believing I can find a way Hey And I'm dreaming Hey guys, you're watching Sneaker Republic, Keanu and Steven here, and today we are doing the performance review for the LeBron 12. So let's get started. Uh, these are actually Steven's shoes, yeah. um, so how do you feel about the fit and size? I feel like it was, it was quite easy to put this, um, your foot in, and the fit stayed true to size, so yeah, I would say it's, overall it's a pretty comfortable shoe. So the padding inside the shoe... You can actually feel that with your fingers as well. It's quite good padding, and yeah, I, I would. It's pretty hard to get injuries in the shoes. I say it's pretty good for comfort and fit. I've heard that the lacing system is a little bit difficult. Yeah, uh, the shoes lacing system. It's mm, it's not that good. Okay, so Keanu tried lacing them up, them up, and he found a. It was hard for him to lace up. I got like burns on my fingers just a little bit from pulling them that hard, but yeah. once you're in, I, they feel pretty nice, right? Yep, so it's just basically, uh, if you can see, it's only this part and this part and this part, you know, the ones that don't have the loops and those hard, those parts are the hardest to pull because in between there's the hard plastic part. Yeah, the fuse, okay. Um, so comfortability was pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, how about flexibility? So, for the 12s, the, basically the LeBron line, it's not known for their flexibility, okay? The 11s were stiff and so are the 12s. It's an improvement on the 11 because apparently LeBron did not wear his 11s for very much because the toe box, it was quite stiff. This one, it doesn't have that uh, high deposit material. Mm -hmm. So, Just it's, along it's, yeah, the it's, it's softer angle. and... I would say the shoe isn't that flexible, but it's 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 pretty good. Cool. It's an improvement. Yeah, it's an improvement. Okay. So, uh, how easy was it to put your foot in? I would say it's quite easy once you just. So Kiana told me this tip, right? You just pull on the sides, and then it's easy to take your foot out and put your foot in. Mm -hmm. So that was a plus for the shoe. Okay. It was quite easy to put in. Moving on to traction, um, is a translucent outsole. Uh, with hexagonal uh, zoom pods um, and then each of the zoom pods have little triangles if you can see that uh, how do you feel about it? I felt the traction was quite good actually I mean on a dusty court and a uh, non-dusty court they work both pretty well but on dusty courts you do need to wipe sometimes about every five minutes of play so when you're running really fast it was quite easy to stop you don't stop on a dime but uh, it was quite good I would not say there was anything bad about the traction. So but nothing it, to complain about? Yeah, yeah but it wasn't like, the best, yeah. okay? It's not like Kobe 9 traction. Yeah. How do you feel about the dur uh, durability of the shoe? Well, I haven't worn the shoe outside for a while, but Keanu said that since it's a translucent outsole, it becomes yellow quickly if you uh, wear it. Especially if, you expose, um, if there's too much exposure with, uh, exposure with humidity, and just uh, dirt from outside. Like you want, if you want them to uh, stay aesthetically pleasing, try and keep them dry. Yeah. Avoid playing with them outside. Yeah, and yeah. So just, it's good if you're playing indoors. Outdoors, it still works, but it's just gonna affect the aesthetic uh, point of the shoe. Moving on to materials. Okay, so Nike is calling this um, Mega Fuse, and in my opinion, it's the biggest difference between the 12s and the 11s. Yeah. Uh, so basically, it's just mesh with a fuse overlays, um, and then around the ankle area, it's hyperposite. Uh, so how did it feel? Um, I felt the hyperposite worked well. The materials, although they look stiff and they feel stiff on the outside, once your foot is in, it doesn't feel very stiff. Mm. I, feel, I felt like they were very comfortable, and yeah, that worked well with the shoe. 
Alright, so how do you feel about the new hexagonal zoom units? In the heel, right, there's the large zoom unit. I think that worked well because it protruded out and you could really feel that. But since the other ones, you can see it doesn't really protrude. The hexagonal ones, the, they didn't work very well, in my opinion. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, just the last thing, uh, what, how, how do you feel about the weight? Well, this shoe, it's not its not that light, but once you put them on, I felt like they were pretty good. So thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to check out the aesthetics review for this shoe as well, and check out our other videos. Thank you guys, and peace.